A very important truth in marketing and in business is what we sell is not what our customers buy. The customer never buys a product or a service from us. The customer buys an outcome. A customer buys a solution to a problem that they have. For example, consider a company like Fidelity Investments, which is in the business of retirement products and services. The products that they might sell may be mutual funds, stocks, bonds, and so on. But what I am buying as a customer is happy, safe, and comfortable retirement. So sometimes a good insight for business is don't sell the product, sell the outcome. So selling, what does selling the outcome to the customer mean? What if we get paid for the outcome? And what if we sell them the solution? Take, for example, a relationship that DuPont had with Ford Motor Company many years ago in Canada. Ford makes cars and they have a paint shop where they paint the cars. DuPont would supply them with paint. So in supplying them with paint, they found that, du that the process that Ford was using to paint the cars was somewhat inefficient. There was a lot of wastage of paint and a lot of emissions into the environment. But Ford has no interest or actually DuPont has no interest in selling Ford less paint because they're getting paid by the gallon. So they approached Ford and said, well, what if we actually sell you what you want? You don't want paint, you want a painted car. So what if we sell you a painted car? What does that mean? We'll take over your paint shop, we will do the painting, we will consume the paint, and you get the outcome, which is what you really want. So in this process, the paint consumed goes down, the emissions go down, but yet Ford makes more money, and DuPont makes more money. So this is a very important idea that you can reframe your business and really get competitive advantage by understanding what is the outcome that we are trying to enable and can we actually sell the outcome? Whether it's lawyers, instead of being paid by the hour, getting paid by the results or the outcome, or potentially even us at business schools. What if we got paid based on the incremental value that we created in terms of salaries for our students? What if we got paid a percentage of the, uh, you know, the value that we created for them? I know it's a very revolutionary idea, but I think it's good to think about what outcome do you actually enable for your customers? What do you allow them to do? How do you make their lives better? What is the economic value you create for them? And then think about can you actually sell them the outcome instead of selling them the product? I think this becomes a very powerful source for competitive advantage and insight.